YouTube. I'm back with another video for you guys. <clears throat> If I fuck with you, then only you can fuck that up, yeah. I done doubled up, yeah. I done pumped it up, yeah. I been get money so long, your shit ain't old enough, yeah. You still growing up, yeah. You done fucked it up, yeah. You ain't thinking. Okay, so today's video is going to be. Mm, why my voice sound? Mm. Today's video is going to be a freshman advice video. Mm. Okay, so today. I know my freshman advice video is kind of late because. I was going to do this video, but I'm like, everybody doing it, uh, but this is a real fresh advice video because I feel like most people are not saying the right things for a fresh advice video, like, there's so much stuff that they're missing out on, like, ugh. so I'm going to give y'all the real tea on freshman advice. So, if you want to get that insight on that freshman advice. So, number one with freshman advice. Number one. Oh, I'm reading off this little paper because I'm reading off my phone and this is what I'm going to, you know. You know. So, number one. Oh, my gosh. This is the first thing I'm going to say. Please. Please, please, please do not try to fit in. Like, I hate when people try to do stuff to fit in, like, start acting like, start acting like somebody did not. Like, that, that is just so irritating to me. Like, do not, please, do not, I repeat, do not try so hard to fit in. Like, because people are going to start looking at you like, ugh, like, this girl was not acting like that in 8th grade, 7th grade, whatever the like, please do not try to fit in. Like, when people try to fit in, they start doing stuff that they never used to do. Like, that is just so ugh to me. Like, stop. Don't try to fit in when you, when you can. Like, you look stupid. Don't do that. Like, number two, keep up your hygiene. Like, ugh. Like, I hate when people fishy, musty, just stank. Like, like, you know, you're in ninth grade now, you know how to wash yourself, keep up with, you know, maintaining your smells, and, you know, you know how to shower, stuff like that. You should know how to keep up your hygiene, like, put on deodorant, take a bath before school, like, you should know how to keep up your hygiene, like, it's, it's no reason why you should be safe in school, like, especially when, like, do especially dudes, like, especially when dudes used to, like, play basketball and stuff, like, you know, like play basketball in between, like in gym and stuff like that. Like, please keep your hygiene. Like, don't like want to smell that at all. Like, cause you stink. Like, don't uh, -uh. keep up your hygiene. Bring the odor. Bring lotion. Bring perfume. Bring something to you know. Ugh. Next thing. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. Enough. Don't make a bad name for yourself. Like, most people when they come to high school, like, I'm not even gonna cap. When I came to high school, I wanted to, like, have fun, blah, blah, see what they were talking about. Don't make a bad name for yourself. Like, basically, like, when I say don't make a bad name for yourself, don't sit there and try to go do nasty stuff with dudes, like, under bleachers and stuff like that. Don't skip. That's another thing. Don't skip. Like, because they're gonna have a name for you. Like, Oh, that's, that's the girl or that's the dude that skip all the time. Or, oh, I always see him in the next neighborhood, never in class. Like, you don't want to have a bad name for yourself. Like, because that is going to, it's going to follow you throughout your whole high school year. Like, I'm telling you, it's going to follow, it's going to follow you all the way up until you graduate, if you do graduate, you're trying to, you know. But, don't have a bad name for yourself. Don't make a bad name for yourself. Don't be the one that's skipping out of time. Don't be the one doing nasty shit in the hallway. Don't be, just don't be that person. Like, don't, know. like, oh, don't be the one, oh, the principal always, always talking about him, her. Like, don't, don't do that. Like, because teachers going to look at you bad. Like, no, I, no, no, I don't, I don't like uh, next thing, your ninth grade year. Nobody really tells y'all this, but your ninth grade year is so important. Like, 
Your ninth grade year is so important. I cannot stress that enough. Because I know from experience, I messed up my ninth grade year because I wanted to have fun, just do stupid stuff. Your ninth grade year is so important because if you mess up your ninth grade year, it's going to follow you. I mean, your, your ninth grade year is your starting point of high school, your starting point, your base of high school. Like, if you mess that base up, you're going to have to fix that going all the way up to your 10th, 11th, 12th grade. Like, you're going to have to fix that. If you fail a class, you're going to have to make up for that class. Like, if you mess up your ninth grade year, I'm telling you, it's going to count against you because you're going to be in 12th grade, like, they're going to be telling you, oh, you need to do a virtual for math or something, or you need to do a virtual for reading, like, oh, you missed out, you got to, um, because you failed these two classes, you're going to have to go to open campus or something like that. Like, I'm telling you, your ninth grade year matters. Like, people go into ninth grade, oh, it's going to be smooth, like, high school, high school, you ain't got to really, you know, do too much in there, like, yeah, like, your, your ninth grade year matters, like, and I learned that the hard way, your ninth grade year matters. Next thing, please don't tell everybody your business, like, do not, do not tell everybody your business, because when you're in ninth grade, everybody changes, like, everybody's changing, everybody's mindset changing, everybody want to fit in, everybody want to do this and that, so of course, if you tell somebody your business or whatever, you can tell your friend that you, you can tell your close, close friend your business, like, but when, when everybody's trying to fit in and try to have, like, that name or someone try to be popular, they're going to tell your business, like, don't tell, you can't trust nobody once you go into high school, like, everybody's changing, you can't tell everybody your business, because then they're going to get something started, if you tell somebody your business, or if you tell somebody some drama or something, they're going to want to get something started, like, please do not tell everybody your business, because high school is a whole different ball game. like, I mean, I'm not in high school no more. I just graduated, but high school, like, don't tell don't everybody your business. Like, that's just going to get around. Like, especially, especially, like, ninth grade. Freshmen are messy. Like, messy, 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 messy. Freshmen are messy. They want to fit in. They want to try to do this and that so bad. Like, do not tell everybody your freaking business. Like, I'm telling you, do not do that. Um, <clears throat> next thing. Do not date an upperclassman, like, at all. I know a lot of people say that, but it's true. Like, do not date an upperclassman. I know from experience, I know from experience, do not date an up, up, upperclassman at all. You can, uh, like, probably 10th grade, but 11th, 12th grade, don't do that. Like, no. Because they only want one thing and one thing only. Everybody knows that or whatever. Mm. Next thing, memorize your schedule. Like, you don't want to go into high school looking like a freshman. Like, no. You do not want to go into high school looking like a freshman. Like, looking at looking at your schedule, you know, you know, looking lost and stuff like that. Don't do that. No. Because people are going to easily point you out. Oh, he a freshman. Oh, she a freshman. Blah. Oh, she don't know where her class is. Like, no. Like, don't try to go into high school looking like a freshman. Like, don't do that. Like, Take a picture of your schedule, look on your phone, everybody on their phone at high school, like, put the headphones in, act like you're looking at your, you know, looking at something on your phone, don't act like you're looking at a schedule on your phone, like, no, don't do that, cause, no, <laughs> I would be so embarrassed looking at a schedule <laughs> in, ninth, in ninth grade, I would be so freaking embarrassed, like, know where you're going, like, don't sit there, that's why they have an open house, know where you're going, so on the first day, when you go to open house, I would say, when you go to open house, know where your classes are so you won't be looking around lost. Like, don't, no, uh uh. Because <laughs> people are going to be like, if she don't move out of my way, like, she don't know where she's going, like, you know. Um, next thing. Good, get a good relationship with your teachers. Like, don't be that type of student to, like, argue and just do stuff stupid stuff in front of the teachers, like, don't, don't be like that, like, that really irks my nerves as well, like, do not try to argue and fit in, like, do not try to argue with a teacher, because your teacher is going to be the main one to try to help you at the end of that semester or the end of that school year, that teacher is going to be the main one trying to help you win, but, but then again, they're not going to want to help you because you're standing there arguing with them and stuff like that, trying to curse them out at the beginning of the year. Like, do not try to argue with a teacher, like, because the teacher is there to help you. You're, you're going to need that teacher in the long run. You might need them to write you a um, letter of recommendation for a college or something. Like, 
you do not need to argue with no teacher because I'm telling you, they can be there to help you in the long run. Like, especially if you fail in that class. Like, if you fail in that class and you done cursed them out like two weeks ago, they gonna be like, they gonna look at you like, no, like, you did that on you did that on yourself. Like, I did, I did try to help you, but you wanna curse me out and stuff. Like, do not try to argue with a teacher. Like, that is, that's, no. And lastly, 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 don't be messy and don't skip class. Don't be messy. Don't be that one messy ninth grader, like the one that's always in everybody's business, always in drama, always fighting. Like, don't be messy. Like, that just looks so bad. Like, and this goes for like the girls. Like, don't be that messy ass fucking ninth grader. Like, ooh, excuse my language, but don't be that messy ninth grader. Like, ew. Like, they don't nobody don't nobody want to be around that negativity. Like. Don't be messy, like, don't even, don't skip, don't be the one always going to go do all this extra stuff, like, stay in class, don't, because once you miss out on, like, once you miss out on something, them teachers are going to look at you like, you always skip my class, like, you better ask somebody else, so I'm not telling, telling you the information that you missed, so don't skip class, don't be messy, like, please, please, please don't be that messy night grader, because it just doesn't look good at all, like, it does not look good. Don't be messy, like, stay, stay out of everybody's business, stay out of drama, just stay to yourself in that grade, because it will follow you, so don't, don't be messy, like, it just, it doesn't look good. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I need to give you guys names. I would say B-Games or something like that. What's up, B-Games? <laughs> but I'll figure it out. But make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on this video, and bye!